step four is reviewing those DMARC reports. Um, soon after publishing that DMARC record, uh, mail servers that have received email from your domain are going to start sending reports back to the email address that you have specified in that DMARC record. And those emails are going to contain XML files that contain delivery information about emails that appear to have come from your domain. And uh, like in this example here, we can see that um, uh, we've sent some emails from our protected trust domain and they've gone to the email provider email server.com and we can see that everything passed uh, DMARC. So it passed SPF, it passed DKIM, passed DMARC. So we can see this is a good report. The issue is actually getting <laughs> this useful report because the, the, the reports that you get sent to that address are just going to be XML files and those XML files, you actually have to run through an online uh, like parser. You'd have to go out to uh, a third party service to basically parse that XML data to get it into something that's human readable. Um, there are some services that do that for you. Um, I can't recommend any, but there are some services that you can use to uh, automatically do that for you. So uh, you could sign up for one of those services and have uh, the email address that you specify in your DMARC record be a special email address that would just collect all of that XML data and parse it. Um, if you're interested in doing that, I'd recommend looking it up on the internet.